All right, um, we're just gonna do the video because that's what intuition says to do. So, this is how, this is where my energy energy work is at right now. Like, this is how I kind of get started for getting my mindset, getting my mind, body, spirit connection in its optimal state of harmony and productivity and growth. So, here's what I do. Here's what we do. We get our feet hip width apart, parallel with each other, curl the base of our the base or the bottom of our spine just like So here's what we do. All right, I gotta just commit. YouTube, this is what I do. I'm a YouTuber, I film YouTube videos. I teach people how to be healthy. I'm talking to the world right now. <laughs> um, and sometimes I do it. <laughs> so here's what you do. You get your feet planted hip width apart. Ideally, you do it in grass, but Cement, what did we learn from Toph's experience of life? Everything is just, everything that seems like it's not natural, it's just an altered version of Earth. Bro, there's no reason we couldn't take all the trash that's not going to biodegrade and turn it into, like, beautiful things that help nature somehow. There's no reason we couldn't do that. Anyways... <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> here's what you do. Ground down through your feet, close your eyes. Internally rotate, so turn both of the legs from the, the bottoms of the feet, the four corners of the feet, up through the ankles, up through the calves, the front of the calves, the shins, through the knees, upper legs. You turn all that in more energetically than physically like you just you stay focused on the fact that you're going to have perfect alignment it's going to internally rotate so that you can be um, grounded and strong you curl the base of your spine kind of because your spine goes all the way down and kind of connects with your hips so you curl that in and down just a little bit so you're not like you curl that in and down and then you just get, you you visualize your vertebrae 33 little bones going all the way up connecting with the brain and you get the head over the pelvis or the heart over the pelvis and the head over both of them and then it's just light above you. Now close your eyes. What we're gonna do, we're actually gonna do seven. Sometimes I just do, yeah, sometimes I'll do like two. So sometimes I'll do this. This is uh, some Qi Gong that I learned from a dude uh, on YouTube. If you just look up like Qi Gong, maybe I'll, I'll put the link in the description. It's kind of like ancient Chinese energy work. It's sort of like Tai Chi, but more like energy work. Tai Chi is more kind of like physical, I think. I don't know anything about Tai Chi, but. Um, all right. So here's what we do. We imagine or we create in the four corners of both of our feet. We create a bunch of roots that grow out like under a giant tree or under just like a perfect plant that's really grounded. 
and you imagine those roots, you zoom out, you, they, they grow into the ground beneath you, right? And the, the more that they grow, and the more that you nourish those roots, put it in the right environment, um, the stronger that they're going to get. Like, you're going to be, if a hurricane comes, you're good. You're grounded. Um, so what you do is, this is like not me. That's going to make it easier for me to speak right now. <laughs> this is, I'm just trying to surrender to God and let God talk directly through me to teach you. It's got nothing to do with Henry. Um, So we imagine the roots growing down into starting from the four corners of the feet and then kind of like the whole foot. You find the arch, all the a million roots grow out of that, the five toes or the ten toes. Um, and they kind of all grow and spread out and become very strong. But then you zoom out and you see yourself kind of in your state maybe or wherever you are in the world just like that kind of a vicinity even in your country yourself maybe you just see yourself within like five miles from where you're at it's it's and then you zoom out to the size of your state and then the size of your country and now you're like this tiny you're a net <laughs> just like going about your day doing your thing um, and then you zoom out even more and you see earth in the Milky Way in the solar system and you see the sun and then you turn around from our perspective and you see that there are an infinite amount of suns above us and then you zoom all the way back into yourself and you realize like, all right, what the fuck? <laughs> like, life is so crazy because all this shit, all like history, the history of earth, everything, every, everything somehow happened so that we could be alive and breathing right now. And in my opinion, that reality and the, the peace that comes with the realization of that truth, um, that accompanied with the experience of purity that's found in silence and we're totally present. Um, that makes me think like, all right, so there's some, I'm convinced that there's a creator. So that means that there's a creator and me, this little speck in the fucking universe. Somehow everything that I do is like this creator is directly connected with it and it's just rooting for me and like just like wanting me to be my absolute best and always forgiving, never judgmental, just like always just like, dude, you got this. Like, I will tell you everything if you just spend your time with me. Like, I'm, I, I'm your friend. I have the answers. <laughs> so just, like, be grounded. Um, okay. So you think about that whole reality, right? And then, um, you imagine those roots. Those roots from your feet grow down and they grow strong over time. Because those roots... Your soul has been in all these different bodies going through life up until now. So those roots go deep in the spiritual connection with the earth. So you imagine this like I'm, I'm like anyways. <laughs> you imagine those roots growing out of both of your feet and then you zoom out and they grow all the way down uh, miles and miles and miles. And you see the whole earth you see the, the roots gr growing all the way down to the center of the earth, which I 
just visualizes pure light. It is what you decide it is. That's the reality of love. Um, and those roots grow down into, and these roots are connected up your feet into like right up your spine your spine is grounded in the earth or in wherever you're standing. Ideally, take off your shoes. You can take off your shoes wherever you're at. You just gotta get through the mental barrier. Um, <laughs> I'm just visualizing people like at work. <laughs> um, and you exhale completely and you surrender with gratitude. You say, thank you, God. I love you. I don't understand everything, but I know that when I practice this, thank you, God. I love you. My life is best. So we exhale completely and we send love down through those roots all the way down to the center of the earth. We give all our love to the earth for this one breath. And we pause. We're grateful. And then we inhale that love up from the earth, all the way up to the crown of the head. We exhale, we give that love um, to to everything we give that love to God giving love to earth because we're here to heal and save earth but ultimately our responsibility is to love God by doing that God will, will illuminate the way So what we do is, with the qigong, you exhale your hands out, open up through the chest and your shoulders. Inhale the hands up. Exhale the hands down. And I usually switch hands. Which one's on top, each breath. every time. Thank you, God. I love you. Surrender, man.